Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be carrying on this search for the real sheep squatch by tracking down these missing hikers. Uh, apparently quite a few of them have been turning up dead up by Monagar. So we're going to be having a look into that. Now once we get here one of the best things to do for would be to check the police station first. Just to make sure. Um, I did get a miscellaneous quest once we turned up here. I'm just going to turn that off so I don't have icons all over the place. But if we check the police station just to have a look at the reports all surrounding the killed hitchhikers. Going to head on inside, have a look around. And we can see here actually some notes about the missing uh, Janelle and Raymond Priblo. The ones that we tracked down that were being attacked by the uh, beasts of Beckley. Um, we've already actually looked at them. Um, so maybe this is where Calvin was getting his information for. Uh, it looks like they've been trying to identify some kind of animal. Um, it's likely this is a bear of a club foot. Let's hope uh, Sheep Squatch is like a bear with a club foot, hopefully. Um, heading on upstairs, going to carry on our investigation, see if there's any more information regarding this. Um, we can see that there were some complaints lodged about an officer um, because he assaulted a woman while she was at home um, with a loaded weapon um, because she was scared of some animal. Um, hopefully this is good. Again, just more information on that. There was an animal sighted. She barricaded herself. Um, once the cop actually calmed her down after visiting her in hospital, um, she said that it was some kind of giant bear that walked upright. Um, but by the time they went back to actually check the scene, SWAT and CSU and stuff had destroyed the scene. Um, apparently, that this is just about some regular guy who steals bubblegum. Um, and he got arrested and started crying and wanted his uh, mummy after also peeing in the car. Um, <laughs> it's fallout for you. Uh, here we have our, there's uh, this, they shot a uh, cow that was in the middle of the road. Um, because these officers are really good at their job. They decided to just kill good old Bessie. Who's never hurt anyone, um, and I really doubt that a cow would be much of a uh, threat, really, to armed police officers. But here you go. Having a look at this terminal, we just have I had a look through here. This is mostly just about budget in the town, about the local mines closing up, um, about these people constantly voting for different things. Although we do have something about a Dr. Eddie Harrison and his erratic behavior there. That could potentially be important. But the rest of this is about a mine closing down, the town going bankrupt, and them constantly voting like to send letters and stuff. There's no wonder this town went bankrupt. Let's let's draft a legal letter. Should should we uh vote if we should send a letter to this guy? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we should. Nothing ever gets done in politics, does it? Let's have a look around. Nothing in here. We do have another note on an animal control. Nine separate sightings of a large bear-like animal in the region. And quite a few of these have all been in the same kind of lake. Um, some doctor is asking about the bear sightings, um, but wouldn't say why he wanted to know. But potentially, could this be Sheep Squatch? I mean, it walks upright, it's like a bear, it's been mauling people. This this could be good. So far, the only clincher is they haven't said anything about it being white, which would have helped. Now, if we have a look where it is, it's actually down by South Alpha. Um, most of these murders were done around the military base, so it could have actually been the military. God knows if it wasn't. Have a look. We do have a dead Yawaguay, um over there, a dead bear. That's uh, not bad and well. Hopefully it wasn't this. And of course it's a glowing one because everything is a glowing one once you get to uh, like level 50. Everything starts to glow. Nothing doesn't glow. 
I'm sick of fighting glowing enemies. <laughs> having a look around, just having a look. We need to find some clues here. Just checking out this building. I know it's um, the site to one of the nuke silos, um, but doesn't seem to be much regarding the bear here. But if there is going to be any clues, it's probably going to be somewhere on the lake. So let's have a look around. Let's see. And it does look like we've got something just up here. Got some bones. Um, yeah, some bones up here and a note from a doctor um, who's going upstream to find his fluffy. And some guy in the shack wouldn't let him go. Um, so if we actually jump back to the shack um, inside here, we do actually have a note regarding it. Um, and it's just about some bear that keeps coming around that he's not been allowed to hunt. And a biologist who's claiming that he's looking for a special animal, which I'm assuming are probably um, the same thing. Biologist probably said something to a bear. But this uh, lieutenant hasn't been authorized to go hunt the bear. He has to stay here. He's probably just going to take some pot shots there if it comes close again. But now that we know that the bear has been coming from upstream, let's follow the stream, see if we can find any more clues up here at all. So far, it's just me and the stream, but I'm sure we'll find some clues, even though this is so many years later. Having a look around, don't want to miss anything. Oh, we have an icon there. It looks like a, oh, someone's foot. Found someone's foot. And it looks like it had been damaged by a bear with uh, malformed teeth. Got a couple of dead foxes as well. Try and decide which way the bear would go. Would they go that way or would they go straight up the stream? Decided to go this way. Just thinking if the foot was there, then the bear's probably going to stick to the land rather than going into the lake. Um, going to carry on following this up, upstream. Uh, we've got some fighting going up here. I can hear these shots. But we have another set of bones there that I nearly missed. And again, killed by a bear with malformed teeth. I suppose at this point, after killing so many Elgwais, I probably know what the bear's teeth look like, or should look like. I am an expert on bear teeth now. Sounds like stuff's getting uh, heated up here as well. I hope that's not one of our animals we're hunting. Got some super mutants. And they're just fighting some liberators. Okay. Nothing too important then. Hoping to sneak around here, but it wasn't to be. They don't want me to sneak around. They want me to bash their brains in. Which I will comply, seeing as they asked me so nicely. I'm going to pop a hundred stim packs there, <laughs> just because uh, I didn't realise they both had miniguns and I'm only wearing excavator armour. There we go, get rid of those two. And can carry on. We've got to the top of the stream now. It looks like this is more of a little lake. This would be a nice place for someone to be. So looking around, we've got a nice little log there that goes over the lake. Um, and got volatile tick here. Having a look though, this looks like it's the right place, an animal den. We've got a couple of dead animals, dead scientist. This is the doctor and it looks like he's uh, been splicing animals together. Um, so he had a mouse cat, he had a dog cat, um, he's been doing brain crafts. So he added a cow brain to a wounded bear um, to make it more docile and he named it Fluffy. Um, he's even been able to crawl into its den and pet it, uh, but it started getting vicious so he had to put a shot collar on it and I guess it made, having brain, uh, cow brain made it smarter because it managed to escape. And this is Fluffy so we're here too late, Fluffy's already been killed, 
uh, by some settlers that took a lot of crossbow bolts from the looks of it. Now I'm just going to jump back over to the other side of that log we saw earlier um, because that's where the last note is. Um, yeah, he's just saying that he'd found the den and the fluffy seemed calm. Um, like I say, you wouldn't usually have to uh, go back there. You would probably find that note before coming over here, but because I got distracted by the super mutants, I approached from a weird angle. Now, there is also... I've done this uh, quest a couple times. I've helped my friends with it as well. Um, and only once we've been attacked by the son of Fluffy, which is a legendary. Um, you can see I'm, it's saying I'm in danger here, but I think it's bugged out again. Um... So there is a Son of Fluffy legendary that's meant to attack you. But the odds are it probably won't. You don't need to kill it for the quest, thankfully. Um, because, like I say, it never seems to actually appear most of the time. At least, maybe I'm just really unlucky. I have I've seen people fight it, um, but I've never had it spawn myself. I Like I say, maybe I'm just really unlucky when it comes to this thing. But now we know what that was. That was actually a bear. Uh, it didn't look any different to a regular Yaogwai to me, but I suppose if you compare a regular Yaogwai to the bears back in before the war, things are going to be different. So this wasn't Sheep Squatch, which is a little bit disappointing. But I'm holding up high hopes. I'm going to continue searching. I know that Sheep Squatch is in the game files. It's just where we find him now. And don't worry, we will find him. I'm, I'm quite eager to find Sheep Squatch and murder it. Uh, maybe uh, set it up in my camp. But for now, until next time, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.